To create a metric extension, we'll begin by navigating to the metric extension page and then click Create Metric Extension. This slide out will help guide us through the process of creating a metric extension. We'll first enter the name of the metric extension, now provide a display name, and next you can provide a description, but since this is a demonstration, we'll skip this step for now. From the drop down, we'll select the resource type of non container DB and the collection method of SQL. Now let's update the collection frequency from 15 minutes to 5 minutes. For the SQL query, we can either type in the query in the box provided or upload a SQL file. Let's upload a SQL file by selecting the radio button. And with the SQL file uploaded, it's now time to define the metrics and dimensions. Our script returns three columns, instance name, wait class, and wait time. Let's define each of those columns. Here we will provide the name and display name. The instance name is a dimension with a value type of string. Now let's add another dimension. Once again, we'll provide a name and display name. We will once again set the column as a dimension with a value type of string. Now let's define the final metric. We'll now assign the metric a name and a display name, and we'll enter the metric unit of seconds. With the metric and dimensions defined, it is now time to create and test our new metric extension. We can now see the metric has been successfully created. To test the metric extension, select a resource from the dropdown. Now select Test. Testing a metric extension can take a few minutes. Once the test completes, the results will be displayed. Here we can see the wait times of each database instance name and the corresponding wait class. If we are unsatisfied with the results, we can update the metric extension query and retest. Since these results look accurate, we're ready to publish this metric. The pop-up is a check to ensure you wish to publish the metric. Once the metric is published, the metric extension cannot be edited. Let's go ahead and publish the metric. All right, our metric extension has been published. With the metric published, now it, let's enable the metric on an Oracle database. From this page, we'll select the resources. And since metric extensions require an enterprise license, only databases with an enterprise license are allowed to have a metric extension deployed to it. So let's choose an Oracle database and click Enable on Selected Resource. We are asked to verify we wish to enable this metric extension on the selected resource. The process of enabling a metric extension may take a few minutes. All right, fantastic. Our metric extension has been successfully enabled. Here we can see our metric extension has been enabled on one resource. Clicking this link will display the resources that have been enabled. Clicking the resource name will take you to that resource's homepage.